the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Here comes the game, Triple H. It's all about the game, Cole. I'd like to point out just how focused these guys look here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me think we're in for one heck of a match here tonight. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 190 pounds, Philip Brooks. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And Byron, I would say these guys look more than ready to start this match. So is this crowd, Michael, and justifiably so. This one's going to be simply amazing. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Delivering the knee. Let's touch on Triple H briefly. For those that haven't seen much of him, what can we expect tactic-wise from him tonight? He appears to have his game face on tonight any better because the guy he's in the ring with is no nonsense. Triple H with some reason for concern. He's gonna wanna make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I guarantee you that the post-game show on the WWE Network will be talking about how he struggled getting out of the gate here tonight. Giants, Immortals, the Undead, Warriors, Legendary. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Here it comes, he's got him. He'd be smart to stay put there. Two. 
the game starting to stagger a bit here. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight. Corey, something I've observed over the years from this seat is what WWE superstars have learned the hard way. The Triple H is always one pedigree away from victory. Armed with the pedigree, the game has dropped opponents through the announcer's table on thumbtacks and steel chairs, even the steel ring steps. Just check out his match against Brock Lesnar from WrestleMania 29. Hold on, guys. We got something going on here. Yeah, they got some words for each other. He is not going to be denied, even if it is the middle of the match. Don't think that. He goes for the quick pin attempt. We got a road break. Just making his presence felt there. Watch out. There's the inverted suplex. Deadly. Talk about history. Triple H was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Killer Kowalski and made his debut in 1995. The Blue Blood Hunter Hurst Helmsley showed a different attitude when he formed D-Generation X alongside Shawn Michaels. Nope, that one misses. Boy, that was terrible. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. Now it's Brooks on his heels. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. An early pin attempt. Triple H knows about making history. Just look at the battles against Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, The Undertaker, Sting, Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns. Triple H founded three of the most powerful factions in sports entertainment history and is regarded as one of the most dominant world champions this business has ever known. The game has also competed in more than 20 WrestleManias. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Brooks looking a little out of rhythm. This may very well be one of his toughest challenges in a very long time. He's incredibly proud of what he's been able to accomplish in his career, and rightfully so. But if he wants to pull away here, he's going to have to mount a sustained offense soon. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. And you can put this singles match in the books. Here is your winner, Philip Brooks. Huge victory here in one-on-one -on -one action. There's no way around it. When you're locked in a submission move like that, your only choice is to tap out. It'll be interesting to see the fall.